<laughs> yeah, don't take it personally. I, I found that um, stepping away from it is a, a wonderful cure-all. Just walk away from it for a while, turn the canvas around, work on something else, um, go for a hike, go for a walk, do something that's like sort of like completely different than what you're trying to do. Almost forget about it for a while, and then sometimes you just walk back in and you're like, oh. Now I know what to do. I gotta burn it. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes that works too. Letting the ego go and let yeah. the universe yeah. do its thing. Yeah. You know, it's a gift. It truly is. That's one of the things that's also so fascinating about the creative process as a larger thing is that um, you're there, you're participating, but um, it's and this is, I think, that's something that's so hard to describe and that's, it's hard to study, is that we don't really know what is taking place. Mm. We know we can feel something, and we know that it's like you can practice and you can train your hand and you can train your voice, train your eye, but the, the impetus to do it, the impulse to do it, is super mysterious and magical, and that's what I enjoy kind of playing with. It's like, ooh, the magic is here. Yeah. I'll be back. You know, <laughs> you sort of go to your thing for a while. So yeah. it's an amazing thing. Absolutely. Most of the work that I do is um, it's really in the moment. I don't know what I'm, I don't have like an idea for a painting. I'm like grabbing uh, something out of the air that was only going to be there for that instant. And so, and the more I lean into the, the technique and these sort of abstract line things in the big works, the more in the moment it is, you know? It's like a big, broad brush stroke, and it only exists in that one moment. But that kind of makes it kind of more special, too, isn't it? Yeah. 